Yo, what is going on my friends? Today, back again with some cool stuff going on in Premiere. We got some awesome music video effects. Now I'm gonna show you guys how you can create something similar to this. And in the title, it says cool butterfly effect. This doesn't have to be used with just a butterfly. You can use this with any kind of animal, any kind of shape, anything that really applies to the techniques that I'm gonna show you. So think of it more as just like a technique that you can use instead of like a step one, step two, step three. Also, before we start this video, if you guys are new, subscribe. If you'd like to join the community, leave a like. If you guys do enjoy the video, it helps the growth of this channel a huge amount. Also, if you guys would like to, let me know if you would like a full breakdown on this entire music video. I know a lot of you were asking for it in the comment section whenever I dropped it. We got a bunch of really cool stuff that I haven't talked about. We have some stuff that I have talked about. Interested to see if you guys want to see the full breakdown of how I really put everything together. Okay, so here is what our base footage is looking like. So we got him turning around and we got this butterfly on the back. We're going to make that go from a normal patch on a jacket into an actual animated moving around butterfly very easily all within just Premiere. Now, let me show you guys how we can do this. So let's zoom in here and we're going to start off by making a little freeze frame so come to this very end frame and we're going to go ahead and click Control k to make a cut move one frame over so click the right arrow key once and then Control k to make another cut so just like that now what we're going to do is we're going to hold down alt and we're going to drag that duplication up just like that and then we're going to right click on that duplication and we're going to go to add frame hold now i have a lot of videos talking about freeze frames and stuff like that so this is probably a process you guys have heard if you've been on the channel for a while next what we're going to do is just drag that duration out okay so now that you drag this duration out like that usually with our normal freeze frames we would take this and put it here we're just going to leave it where it is because we want it to happen after the frame we want it to kind of stay still and then grow out so we'll play and it just stops we want it like that so take your freeze frame and put it after where you made your cut so just like this so to do this, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go ahead and crop out that butterfly. Now to do that, let's go ahead and click these little two arrows and go to our effects. If you guys are working in your editing tab up here or your effects tab, it might be on the right, depending on your layout. Now let's go ahead and just look up a little simple crop effect. Now you could also mask this out. It's just all up to personal preference. So we'll place it there and then we're going to go and drag down and then we're going to go ahead and crop this so to make that crop let's go ahead and click this pen tool and then we're just going to click on the butterfly just like that now go ahead and click the squiggly key on your keyboard it's to the left of your one key that's going to make that full screen and like i said guys this doesn't have to be a butterfly you can do this with any shape and i also want to recommend to you guys that if you're having a little bit of trouble masking I recommend you guys watch my easiest ways to mask videos it's going to help you make better mask just kind of bend and drag these joints like that also, another huge thing that's going to help you an insane amount is doing the masking in After Effects. Now, this is only a Premiere tutorial, so I'm just going to do it in Premiere to make it simpler in case you guys don't have After Effects. Let's connect that in there. Then we'll unfull screen that. So squiggly key. And now we're going to mask this. So go down here to our options, top left in our effect controls. And then we're going to go ahead and click this button here. So click inverted. And then we're going to go ahead and make left 100% just like that. All right, awesome. So the only problem here is now we've masked out everything. So we wanna have this as two parts. We wanna have the butterfly literally attach off the back of the jacket. So to do that, what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this freeze frame, drag it up, and then we're gonna hold down Alt on our keyboard again, and we're gonna drag down. So we're gonna make another duplication. Click on that duplication you just made of the freeze frame, and we're going to go back down to our options and our effect controls. Let's find that there. And we're just gonna uncheck this inverted. So what we have here, guys, let me hide this top layer, is we have a layer of the butterfly cut out from the freeze frame jacket. So if you move around here, you'll see this is just a freeze frame. And then we also have a layer of just the butterfly cropped out. So that is why we did that, just like there. So another helpful little tip is let's click on our top one again, go back down to our crop options, and let's just bump up the mask feather a little bit just to blend that out. So now if I hide that, you guys are gonna see it's a little more blended. So if you drop that mask feather, you'll see it's rough on the edges and you guys can mess around with that however you like. So I'll feather it a bit. All right, now it's very simple to do it past this part, guys. All we need to do is just animate this butterfly to move away and then transform using this awesome effect that I wanna show you. First off, let's kind of spice this up a little bit. Let's add some glowing, let's add some flickering. Now you guys can use some plugins if you would like, but they can get pretty pricey. Some good plugin packs are Sapphire, Red Giant Universe. If you guys don't wanna pay over the $100 range, I recommend you guys check out my online store link down in the description you guys are going to be able to get a glow and a flicker preset for only 15 dollars, and that comes with 20 other presets so there's a bunch of stuff on the online store check it out like i said link down in the description super cheap super effective stuff go ahead and just add a little glow effect just like that so bam so let's rewind here all right so here's what we got we got the butterfly we got it glowing glowing and flickering of course you guys can change any of the settings of that to make it however you like let's go ahead and start transforming this guy so to do that we're going to click our top which is our isolated butterfly 
butterfly layer. And we're just going to come up here to our effect controls and we're just going to make some simple little adjustments using this little motion tab right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the beginning of our clip. We're going to go up to the top and we're just going to keyframe position and scale. You can also keyframe rotation, any of these other things if you want to rotate it, turn it around. I'm just going to keep it simple. Let's go ahead and move forward a little bit. So maybe like one second on our timeline, just drag that. Make sure you're selecting your top one and we're just going to scale this up and then let's go ahead and move the position over. You can either move these sliders or an easier way to do this is click this box next to motion and then just shift it over to wherever you want. All right. So since we made those keyframes, as you can see, they popped up right here. We now have a simple little animation of it just getting bigger, just like that. Now, if you click on the top, you guys can move these keyframes. If you drag them forward, it's going to be a longer animation. If you drag them back, it's going to be a faster animation. So keep that in mind. It's going to help you guys got a nice little animation. Now, all we need to do guys is create the transformation. Now to do that, this is why I named it butterfly. You can do this with animals. You can do this with shapes. If you find the right clip to apply, what we're going to do is we're going to take a simple little green screen clip and I'm going to go ahead here. So we have this green screen clip of butterflies. Now you guys can find these either on my website. I have a pack of free green screen clips you guys can use, or you can just go on YouTube, search for at search for whatever. So say for example, it's not a butterfly. It's an Eagle search green screen, Eagle, get that green screen clip, download it, bring it in premiere, just like that. Do the same exact steps. Now let's go ahead and bring our butterfly in. So, so to do this, just double click on it in your bin. It's going to open up in your source menu and you can go ahead and navigate to the part that you actually want to bring in. So I'll bring it in from right there. Click the I key that stands for in drag for how long you want it and then click. O. now you can drag this just the video. You don't want the audio. So drag the video in like that and it's a little bit too long. So let's just click C and then just cut off the end like that. All right, guys, so it's starting to look good. Now we just need to get rid of the green screen itself. So simple. Let's go ahead and right click this first and then click scale to frame size. And then let's click these arrows, go to effects and then add a little ultra key effect onto there. So look up ultra key. You can also use a color key if you guys do want. Drop that on there. Go down to our ultra key and our effect controls. Grab that dropper. Get rid of that green just like that. All right. So now what we have is we have the animation of the butterfly over the animation of the butterfly on the jacket. Now let's kind of make that transformation look. Now to do this, let's navigate to where our animation stops for a butterfly. And then let's click on our actual animated green screen butterfly, our very top layer. And let's just click control K there. So now we have the green screen just starting whenever the animation stops. I'm going to drag this out a little bit more. Let's go ahead, click our motion under effect controls, and let's just move that over a bit. We're going to want to reposition this. You can also scale that up a little bit. You kind of want to match this as best as you can just to make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, perfect. So here's what we got. This looks pretty cool. This is going to look like a cool transformation whenever we actually do it. Now let's go ahead and go back to the beginning. Now to make the actual kind of morphing transformation, you guys can do a bunch of stuff. You can just kind of bump up the glow if you want on our butterfly layer, which is in video layer three. And let's go down to the glow. You can make a simple little keyframe and just keyframe the threshold. So let's keyframe here, drag a bit when that butterfly pops up. Just make that go crazy, something like that. So it's going to look like it's really glowing into this just like that. Now the key is let's stop this normal butterfly right there. Let's click on our top animated butterfly and let's do the same exact thing, but reverse it. Let's add a glow, drag that glow onto our green screen butterfly. And let's go ahead and start the threshold all the way at zero. Now, if you guys are using the one for my pack, what you can do is just bump the exposure up all the way. That works exactly the same. That works exactly the same for the glow settings in my pack. So bump the threshold and let's also bump the brightness up a little bit just because we really want this to look overexposed. Now what we're going to do is keyframe the brightness and the threshold. And if it's in your case, if you are using the pack from my website, go down to Lumetri color and you're going to want to keyframe the exposure, which is right there. So keyframe your exposure, drag to the end, and then let's go bring that back to normal. So drag our brightness down to normal or something like that and drag our threshold all the way down. So let's go to the beginning and then here's what we got. Bam, just like that. So literally what we made is just a simple little glow transition between the two. And that actually looks pretty cool. I, th I think this might've turned out better than the first time I did it. Now I'm just going to give you three more tips. That's really going to help you with this. Really just going to tie this whole kind of technique together. Tip number one is if you want to spice up that transformation effect, add any other effects that you think are going to look cool. So in the example I showed you in the beginning, I added this effect from Sapphire called RGB distort. Now, if you guys do want some crazy distortion stuff, like I said, effects pack volume two has the glow 
it has the flicker and it has seven distortion presets. So what I did was I grabbed RGB distortion on there and I did the same little thing. I kind of made that little keyframe so that it starts normal, gets big, and then it does the same. It goes back down to normal. So let's go down to our RGB distortion in our effect controls. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the amount at zero at the beginning, just like that, and then keyframe, and then drag to the end of this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make that something bigger. So let's make that one, see what it looks like. Okay, so that's a little bit too much. So let's actually blur the lens a little bit. If you guys didn't already know, this is the same exact effect that was used in that ASAP Rocky LSD music video. And I've made a bunch of videos talking about Sapphire. I've talked about the plugins themselves. I've talked about what you can do with the plugins. So if you want to make it crazy, something like that, you can. So it's going to start normal, grow into this crazy, grow into this crazy kind of like crystal thing like that. And then let's go ahead and do the same for the animated butterfly. Let's click at the beginning, add that RGB distort. Let's go down to our effect controls and find it. And then let's start it really crazy because we want it to look big and then go down to normal. So let's kind of play with our settings here. And then we're going to keyframe our blur lens and our mount. And we're going to drop our mount just down to zero, just like that. So here's what this is going to look like, guys. So we've created both the animations. Bam, bam. And it looks really awesome. You guys can really see that RGB distort as it kind of fades back into normal. And this one really turned out a lot better than the first time I did it. So that looks sick. You guys don't have to do it with a butterfly. You can do it with anything you want. Another quick little trick, guys, is an awesome little transition you can do doing this method is what you can do is you can actually is you can actually zoom through the hole that's created here. Now to do that, what we're going to do is just click our bottom freeze frame, our original first duplication we made. We're going to drag a bit to where we want the transition. So something like there. We're going to keyframe our scale so up to our effect controls click that little keyframe button next to scale drag a bit and then bump that up bam it's going to go right through the hole and you guys might also need to go back and keyframe the position as well so let's keyframe the position and let's actually just move this over so that this really goes through and scale that all the way up move that position all the way over it's a cool little transition option we have so all together Bam, 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 just like that. And I made the zoom a little bit quick. You guys don't have to. So I really love how this actually turned out. Super sick effect, like I was saying, guys. And you don't have to do it with a butterfly. You can do it with anything. It's really just using some glowing effects and using the right freeze frames, using the right animations to make something look like it's transforming into something else. Hope you guys enjoy this. If you do want to come back to this later, if it was too confusing, add it to a playlist and just follow step by step while you guys are editing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys later.